Hey guys, this is Omar C, and you're watching another uh, video review on BuyMeAnIPhone.com. Today I'm going to be showing you um, one of the uh, most popular jailbroken apps that you can get for your iPhone, which every jailbroken iPhone pretty much comes with, is Installer. And um, this is basically for those of you that haven't jailbroken your iPhone, I want to show you how easy it is to uh, use Installer and to install third-party applications onto your iPhone. Um, so this is the newest version, I think it's 3.0 of Installer. And it basically it's just refreshing all the sources to see if there's any updates or new applications available. If you're on Wi-Fi, obviously this is going to be really quick. If you're on Edge, um, it takes about a minute sometimes. So you get your featured screen here. It shows you just a couple of the, uh, the apps that I guess are really popular. If you notice on the bottom here, on the bottom we have Install, Update, Uninstall, and Sources. So if you click on uh, on install, these are basically all the categories we have. We have games, health, uh, leisure, localization, miscellaneous, multimedia, tons and tons of um, different categories you could choose from. Um, the one I always go to is recent packages because if someone puts a new a new application on there, it's going to be right in here. So you can click on that. And right now it shows you today's new packages. We only, two new applications have been created today. One of them looks like it's a theme. The other one is um, Alkitab is the Indonesian version of the Bible. So you can get the Bible in Indonesian in your iPhone. So there's a couple of different uh, applications here. This is from yesterday. This is other after, after, I guess these are the ones after yesterday. So basically, if you want to come here, you can check it out. And you can also do a search. If, you, if there's a huge list of things and you're just looking for one specific one that you know that was released today, we can just go to search and search it out. And you can check that out as well. And if you go to categories, and you can also do search through here. So if you click on all packages, let's say someone told you, you know, there's this app you really got to check out. It's called such and such. Go see if it's on installer. You don't know what category it's going to be in. Well, that's okay. You just click on search. Just type in, start typing in, you know, um, let's say if it was, let's see what we got here. Customize. And I customize and show. Oh, probably because I already have it installed. Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> if you already have it installed, it's not going to show up in the list. But if you start searching, it automatically starts popping them up and populating it there automatically. Now, if you notice on the bottom of my screen down here, the little number right there, that means I have three updates. So the cool thing is, after you've installed an application on your iPhone, if, it, if an update ever becomes available for it, if they've changed it or, you know, updated it, it's going to automatically alert you. So I can come here and I say, okay, iPhone video recorder needs an update, and telescreen needs an update, and phone zap needs an update. So all you gotta do is say, okay, I'm gonna update all of them. And then say update all. It's gonna sit there probably for hopefully not too long. I'm on Wi-Fi, so it should be relatively fast. And it's just gonna sit there and update um, all three of those applications for me automatically. It says this version fixes ringtone bugs. Please email, blah blah blah. Just a little uh, warning message right there probably for a phone zap and uh, another warning here IntelliScreen is currently beta software blah 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 I'll accept the agreement just give me the update and another notice please reboot your iPhone to enable IntelliScreen okay so some of the updates take uh, longer than others just depends on what the application is So I'm done with my updates and everything's been fixed and ready to go. So let's say you do come in here to install an application and let's say you want to add a game, okay? If you're looking for a fun game, you don't know what any of these are, let's check out, how about, uh, let's see what's a good one, people play a lot. Sega Genesis Emulator, that's a pretty, pretty cool one. Let's try iCopter, this is a, a fun game. So what we have here, it gives you the name, the version, the size of the file right there, 43 kilobytes, not bad at all, contact, you can actually click on the contact and email that person if you need to ask them a question about it. It gives you the source, the actual site it's pulling it from, Big Boss's apps and things, the contact, Big Boss. If you click on more info, sometimes depending on what the application is, it'll actually give you a picture or a screenshot of what that application looks like. And we've got a bunch of ads here, and there it is, there's a screenshot of iCopter. Obviously it's a side scroll game, so I would turn it on the side, you can see how it plays, but that's an actual image shot of what the game looks like. So let's say, okay, I want to install it. Click on install. 
Now you can either just install this one right, right as you want, or if there's a bunch of other things you want to keep selecting to install, you can say add to queue and it'll jump you back to the other menu and you can go to the next application, select that one, say add to queue, and you can just keep add, adding them to your queue until you're ready to install. And then when you hit install, it'll install all applications you've added to the queue. It's only one I want right now, so I'm just click on that to install, cleans it up, and then that's it. It's done. It's installed it onto the phone. And I'll show you where it puts it on your iPhone in just a second. So then we have that. And so if you want to get rid of applications, you can click on uninstall. And I have this list here of all the applications I've installed on my iPhone. And let's say if I want to remove one, all you gotta do is say, you know, I don't want to, I don't want phones app anymore. Click on the uninstall button up here, it'll uninstall it completely from your iPhone, you won't have to deal with it anymore. Pretty simple. And um, sometimes on other websites, this is the sources button I just I clicked on here, sources. Sometimes you'll find uh, other websites that have their own little, um, uh, their, their own little, um, oh, what's the word I'm thinking of? Like their own source, I guess, where they have their applications. And so you can actually add additional sources to here. It automatically comes with these ones right here, Big Boss, Conceited, Mod My iPhone, these different ones. If you want to add another one, let's say you've heard about an application that someone's created, and if you want to add that application to your iPhone, you would have to add their source to your list here, which is really easy. You just click on Edit and add their website. It's usually just a web address. Click on Add. You just add the web address in there. Click OK. It'll be in your sources. You refresh it, and now that application that you're looking for should now be in your list of apps because you added that person's source to there. So not too bad, it's not too difficult to play with or work around. So that is installer app. And so let me go to my home screen now. And let's see if see there's a refresh, it's refreshing the springboard there. Okay. Uh, it's giving me this here for an telescreen, one of the updates I did. So now we have this. Let me turn the page. There it is, iCopter. It added iCopter to my computer my iPhone. Click on that. There's iCopter, OK, tap to start playing, and that's the game. So I've added this game to my iPhone, and it only took me a couple of seconds, really, if I had just jumped straight to it. So that is Installer App. For those of you that don't have jailbroken iPhones, um, it's really easy to install. Of course, when the new version of the iPhone 2.0 comes out, it'll be a whole different story, and um, I'm sure this will be a different, uh, it'll be, it might be a different way of doing it all together, but I guess that remains to be seen. So that's it for today. Um, I'm Omar C, and this is another video review on buymeaniphone.com. I hope uh, this was helpful.